if you check his Wikipedia page, Michael J. Fox is listed as an actor and an activist. He's acting, one who fans around the world, but it was his role as an activist that touched our hearts. Michael J. Fox has led a very public battle with Parkinson's disease. And tonight, on Seven Sunday Night, nothing is off limits. If you could go back in time, really, you wouldn't change the fact that you got Parkinson's, would you? No, I wouldn't. I absolutely wouldn't. I mean, there's no... I, I wouldn't at all. Now, the reporter he was speaking to will be well known to you. It's tonight, Sunday night, Arani Sadler. She's here, <laughs> along with uh, our resident GP, Ginny Mansberg. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Now, Rani, um, you know, like many of us, you no doubt grew up as a fan of uh, Family, Family Ties, Ties. And Back to the Future. Uh, so, so did you have a preconceived notion of who Michael J. Fox would be? Yeah, when I was growing up, he was such a huge star. I was trying to explain to Zoe Campbell, who was there with this little girl, uh, that he was like the Justin Bieber of our day. He was huge. <laughs> mm. He was everywhere. So going in to meet him, I was quite nervous. Today, I've Michael, got to say my you? producer, Penelope Cross, was even oh, more you? nervous because she's the person who lined this up. She was so excited. But meeting him immediately, you just felt at ease. He's just so down to earth. Yeah. Right. You're saying that he's as nice off off screen as he is on. Which he's is so good to hear. He's just as nice off screen as he is on. You can just keep chatting to him. It was just like a normal person. He could sit here now and he wouldn't have, you know, any of the carry on you get with some of those yeah. big celebrities. Yeah. Just chilled. Is yeah. he as tall off screen as he is on? Uh, yes, he is as tall off screen <laughs> as he is on, and that's about um, this big. <laughs> Homo Florentians. <laughs> he's made it his mission to find a cure for Parkinson's. Um, what does he reveal? This is interesting. The Australia Connection. What's, the, what's yeah, that? Yeah, it's fantastic, the Australia Connection. So Michael J. Fox, he found out he had Parkinson's 22 years ago. He looked around the world for a cure. You know, Googled, if Google was around 22 years ago, I think it was, <laughs> um, and looked for everything and said, oh, my God, there is no cure for Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. So what he did after he became an alcoholic, which he does talk to us about tonight when mm -hmm. he was in denial, he started a foundation and he he brought together all the world's best researchers and all the best research and then funded it. So wow. he is closest to finding a cure. Now this bloke in Australia, Clyde Campbell, wonderful bloke, he found out he had Parkinson's at 44. He did the same thing as Michael J. Fox, super motivated, looking for a cure. Whoops, there isn't one. Mm -hmm. So he found the Michael J. Fox Foundation. They're teaming up. They're doing this study, PPMI, biggest Parkinson study in the world. Need Australian volunteers and you can, mm. uh, you can see all about it tonight. Now, Ginny, can you explain to us um, the mechanisms of Parkinson's? How does it work? It's basically a lack of a chemical called dopamine in the brain. Mm -hmm. And dopamine isn't responsible necessarily for the movements, but ironing out the, the smoothness of your movement. So without enough of it, you'll often be quite jerky. It's quite difficult to get going. So initiating movements, sort of standing up, is, is quite difficult. You'll often shake and have a tremor. Right. Your face can go sort of quite flat. You don't have a lot of expression, which would be quite difficult, I imagine, as an actor, especially if you weren't mm. yeah. medicated. Mm. And it's affecting one in 350 Aussies. Really common. Wow, that's very common, isn't it? What, mm. what are the risk factors? Is it is it deadly? Does it actually kill you? Look, it, it's a lifelong condition. Right. You're certainly, you know, and people do die earlier, but it's it's we don't know what causes it. And I think that's one of the big impediments mm. to getting a cure because we still don't know what's happening. What's lowering the dopamine. Yeah, we still don't. There's a very strong family connection so that if a, a very close relative has one, you're far more, has Parkinson's, you're far more likely to get it yourself. But we still don't know the cause. And if Could I can just jump in, that's what, ties, the purpose, <laughs> that's what the purpose of this PPMI study is. They're looking for biomarkers. They're trying to work out what caused it. So if they work out what caused it, then they can find a cure. Yeah, yeah, well... Stands to reason, doesn't it? Sure does. Oh, gee, you've got a good show tonight. Mm. Tell me what, Dame Edna, Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Dame Sunday Edna. night. Yes, Sensational. You do. It's a good lineup.